Also, free for all confirmed, so that's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, we'll definitely do free for all tournaments. Oh yeah. But yeah, what does the green skin bring us? So we have Six. a lot of regiment of renowns here. We have. Pay to win. <laughs> exactly. So for artillery, we have the hammer of Gork, a goblin rock lobber that does a morale debuff. We have the Night Goblin Shaman, who is bringing, oops, he's bringing Sneaky Stealing, of course, Sneaky Stabbing, Itchy Nuisance, and Scroll of Leeching. Wow. So very anti Winds of Magic for the Empire here. We also have Skarsnick up for the leadership. Again, I love this general. Very high AP, very high health. He's bringing Stand Your Ground, Wah, Spite of the Bad Moon, and Trixie Trap. So all of his abilities. For cavalry, we have one unit of Orc Borboy Biggins and one unit of the Broken Tusk Mob, the Regiment of Renowned Orc Borboy Biggins with the Encourage ability. For archers, we have the Rusty Arrows, and it looks like that's it. However, we do have two units of Forest Goblin Spider Rider Archers, which have poison um, melee and ranged. For infantry, we have one, two, looks like three units of Savage Orc Biggins. We have one unit of Savage Orcs, two units of Vanilla Orc Boys, one unit of uh, Nasty Skulkers, and one unit of Unbreakable... Where are they? The eight peak loonies? Yeah, the eight peak loonies and the Warlords Boys, so a lot of really fun units. Also, look at the Night Goblin Shaman de uh, deployed right next to the opponents in while well, hidden. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, because you're never going to look there, right? Yep. Alright, for the Empire, we have one, two, three units of Reichsguard. Wait, sorry, right? No, two units of Reichsguard with the Regiment of yeah. Noun, Aldorf, Griffites, Demigriff Knights. We got a Sterling's Revenge as well. We got one, two, three, four units of Flagellants, one of them being the Tatter Souls. We got a unit of Spearmen and two units of Great Souls. For the leadership, we have a Law of Life, a Jade Wizard, with Earth, Blood, and Scroll of Shielding. And for the leadership, we have the General of the Empire, the Potion of Toughness, Foe Seeker, and Stand Your Ground. And now it looks like the battle has begun. And here we see the uh, usefulness of an artillery piece, forcing the opponent to move because they're quickly going to start raining death upon them and... I imagine he kind of wants to hit those demigriffs, and yes, he does. Already doing good damage to them in one uh, hit. Yeah. This is a really fun map I really like, because there's a lot of places where you can fight. No lingering. And also, about the about the magic that we see on the field, especially with the lore of life, that uh, scroll of leeching and that uh, night goblin with his regular passive is going to do a lot of damage to the, uh, what you call it, to the winds of magic of the Empire, which desperately needs it to keep casting lore of life and spells. They will indeed. The only thing is, the Night Goblin Shaman is so far away over here now because he's deployed on the edge. He's not gonna get over there and be able to cast any spells actually, like no way. He has to walk all the way over here before he can cast spells and just look at the pure distance. I think Agony Duck is kind of forgetting about him and he's probably not gonna get off any spells this game. Yeah. Because the thing is, he actually moves while he actually uh, walks and is hidden while he's walking. So yeah. he can't start moving him, but he just isn't. Also, you see some Sterling's Avenge, the Regiment of Renowned Armor Piercing variety of the Free Company, uh, shooting off those spiders. But again, as we talked about, not really sure if you need the armor piercing this matchup. And you can see, there is no heavily armored uh, orc units, so maybe a little bit of a waste of money. Yeah, it'll help against the leadership, but that's about it. Uh, we do have the Reichsguard that's probably going to try and chase off these archers because they're doing a lot of damage. Together with the Rusty Arrows that are now completely obliterating this be these spearmen. And now the Empire has to try and break into this line of greenskins that are just going to hold with some unbreakable units as well. And we'll see how they do that if they can. Indeed. And bringing the uh, Warlord's Boys who have a debuff against armor is a pretty good choice in this matchup because actually as we're seeing we have great force on the battlefield yeah we do indeed oh, um what's the hammer of gork hitting at oh it's now it's hitting over here on the great salts doing good damage 
The general of the empire is starting to move around, and now we do see a battle of cavalry. Yeah, but looks like on the other flank, them. the Reich Guard actually caught some spider riders. Oh yeah, it actually did take out some of them. Here's the golden thing about the light wizard though. He's gonna start healing the demigris before they lose models, so that he doesn't lose all of them. Also, I would think, but he's not doing that. Instead, he's opting to... Is he healing the front line? No, I don't see I'm, any heals where, Where's out. his heals? Maybe start with a little bit of magic, you just can't get them back, I'm not sure. Nah, you, no matter what, you should have been able to get one heal out now. But, oh, his wizard doesn't have any arcane conduit either, so he might actually be starved the winds of magic, like you said. Yeah. Also, finally, the Night Goblin Shaman's moving in. But again, this lovely Empire flag is going to be very dangerous. Because even though he's holding over here, um, if he gets a flank off, these orcs are going to run away very fast. Yeah. He did kill off the right scout in the back, though. So he has three units that he's pushing over here to help hold the flank. And we'll see if he can do that in time. It's kind of hurting him that he can't use the debuff from the Night Goblin Shaman because... It started so far away and he kind of forgot about it, but we'll see if he uh, can get there in time because he kind of has to because now the Empire is starting to push it even though he's kind of just moving all his units over here instead of trying to ambush with a great soul. Right and the drill the Empire going for a dive on the Scarstick and going to do some really nice damage, but again, Scarstick is very heavily, is a very big damage dealer and as you can see, he doing some really good damage back to the Drill the Empire. But as you see here, as exactly as I was saying, Rakes are crushing into the back lines. Yeah, Skarsnik's in trouble. He is doing some damage back, but these rusty arrows should really be hitting the uh, general of the Empire right here and do a lot of damage. The cavalry is coming in to charge the Empire in the back, so it's gonna be like sort of like a Congo line of one unit fighting another, being backed up by another. Precisely. But it looks and like the yeah, Jameser did kind of get his heal Oh, there we go. Finally, we got a heal log. It wasn't overcast. That's going to keep some of his infantry alive. We'll see if it's going to be enough, though. Oh, Skarsnik did get terrified there. And if the Empire is going to win this, it's going to be off the back of killing and routing Skarsnik. Indeed, and the Empire General did pop scroll of shielding. And again, look at back. Look in the back lines. The uh, Legama Shama is just running his little, little butt off to get here. And oh, they are still holding now the Greenskin. Some of them did return despite routing. Skarsnik taking a lot of damage though right here. And he's kind of going to have to be uh, kind of scared. He's, yeah, and look at the Empire just pushing through the left flank. Well, these, this little group of three units of Greenskins is just mobbed on one unit of flagellants with only 20 guys left. And they're just getting shot to shit by some... Uh, guy. Oh, that, never mind, that's their own guys. So yeah, now yeah, they're they finally moving in. Yeah, they gotta move around like this and start uh, ambushing the Empire. It does look like Skarsnik is gonna say his last prayer in a few moments. He, uh, he is routed again with 400 health, so he's just spending time occupying the General of the Empire. The Empire General is out of healing though, so any damage that happens now sticks. And the Empire, he's actually running out of uh, efficient infantry, because now it's just a lot of flatulence left and some spearmen. Indeed. And actually, it's not even that many flatulence. But that uh, General of the Empire is going to charge into those Rusty Arrows to stop that, because right now in the battlefield, those Rusty Arrows are the biggest threat to the General of the Empire. And it yeah. looks like he will send some uh, War Boy Biggins in to distract him, while those flagel while those uh, Rusty Arrows will do some point-blank fire. Yeah, this is got This might actually turn out very bad for the Empire, because that those Orc War Boy Biggins got in at the perfect time to stop him. And now they're doing a lot of damage and the Rusty Arrows will be able to fire off a volley soon and that's going to do so much damage to him. He is going to try and get out but the cavalry is just sticking to him and oh this is kind of looking bad for the Empire now. Especially because he didn't actually finish Skarsnik. Indeed but those Rusty Arrows a little bit of a delayed fire off probably from destruction from those guys right there but right this close to the blue to the white line i don't know if that empire general is going to be able to come back in time yeah he's no way he's gonna break out right there and if he does that might seal the deal for the empire actually especially because scarsing wasn't killed he Indeed. tried but he was interrupted by those oh he just before the edge so, so painful and scarsing does not have his ability to shoot up in the air yeah and as you see here a little bit of a push through from these uh, spears and flagellants are going to send those uh, Rusty Arrows running away, trying desperately to shoot the General Empire, but the General Empire knows a lot better, and he's going to 
circle around. But do you know what, Zerx? The Night Goblin Shaman has almost reached the battle. Oh boy. He's almost there. The party don't start till he get in. <laughs> well, the Greenskins do have a whole unit of Savage Orcs left that does great against Flagellants. And the Night Goblin Shaman isn't too bad, actually, so he might do somewhat decent. Yeah, if he actually throws something down, those, those uh, Savage Orcs can be very supportive. Yep. But look at these Rusty Arrows. They are going to get in position really soon unless they get charged. Yeah, they're going to fire at the General, and if he lands right there, he's going to be easy target. He's... He can't afford to uh, to mess around too much. The, the archers are turning around. One volley could end the general's life. But he or does find Skarsnik. So Skarsnik is popping all over the building. He's definitely trying not to get killed. Skarsnik takes a little bit of charge damage. But that general of the empire is not looking very healthy. Neither of them are. Skarsnik has so much melee defense right now. So the general of the empire only got 10% chance to hit him. And it doesn't look like he's doing it. Oh, no, he's not doing it. And looks like the General of the Empire is going to go down if he takes another volley. And there he and goes. And there he goes. He did route Skarsnik with Terrify. Indeed. But he went down. And now the Greenskins might actually pull this one home because and the Jade Wizard is almost down too. Yeah, Jade Wizard tried desperately to stop those Rusty Arrows, but he's having a bad time with his leadership. But again, look at these Savage Orcs. This one unit may be able to carry the day with the support of the uh, Night Goblin Shaman. And look, the hammer gorg oh, yeah, still has ammo. And there you go, chat. Agony Dog defeating ODM Slayer in two close battles in what a, a 2-0 manner. Wow. Showing he is good on both sides of this matchup. Good game to yeah, Slayer, very but cheeky. very, very good play by Agony. I think both players had some interesting armies and ended up making for very interesting games and yeah, Agony Dog just seemed to have the better decision making, which is what I think uh, helped carry him through this one. Um, yeah. Even and yeah. with that, uh, like, I was shaman late to the party. <laughs> yep. Skarsnik, interesting pick, taking an artillery to force the enemy to come to you. Very interesting, too. Yep. And again, in a high pressure game like a tournament, that, that uh, artillery piece just looks so scary that you just rush towards it. Yep.